I'll be reacting to Miracle Dreamy episode 5, and I'm starting my reaction from the minute and 35 second mark. In 1, 0, go. Kotoko with the clink clank. Alright. I'm hot. I've missed this series. Okay, I actually didn't know that. It's cool. Hmm. That's a good point. Kind of similar colors too, depending on the type of service you're playing in tennis. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to though, because if anyone needs better shit, <laughs> he'll turn into a dollar monocular. <laughs> okay, now it looks like they're about to do fusion, huh? Like in Dragon Ball. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's all about practice. I think she's going to get it eventually. She's got to be positive. It's just a process. It's going to take a while to build. Exactly. <laughs> oh, this is a good scene. Pick what you reprimand her. Oh, they're lucky that boy didn't notice. <laughs> Or the world be fucked. Yeah, if they're realizing it. Yeah, the kitty ass! <laughs> Got what they had in the cookie jar. I like how she's talking about that as if she were an older lady, even though they're both unions. That's adorable. Oh, snap. You're on me. Yo, I did if like Mewtwo got fucking abducted and shit. Oh, boy. She should be shouting out that name, though. Because, I mean, I guess you could say she lost her doll. It'd be embarrassing, but... I mean, if I were in that spot, I'd also be chanting each other's name just to protect him. I wouldn't care about the embarrassment. I <laughs> like the triangles in her eyes, dude. That's cute. She gives a sh- <laughs> I can see it open up, boots. Oh! Me's probably not gonna be in there, though. It's not, I don't think it's gonna be that easy. Hmm. I have a feeling. I haven't seen a lot of animes. Oh! I wonder if it's gonna build up the blue haired chick. I mean, they have been hyping her up in some of the previous episodes and in the opening, too. And blue ones are usually my favorite match over animes, too. Usually. Could also be because I'm. My favorite color is blue. And yo, I did not watch the episode for Hawaiian, in case y'all wondering. Man, anime came in cheating and put the blue shirt on. No. I just happened to have a blue shirt on today. But uh, I'm fucking happy I chose blue today, though. I am happy. <laughs> I definitely did those bitch on Twitter! <laughs> I was about to say, I thought we were gonna see me on Twitter! Oh. I like that he's all gone! Why would you live on the earth of death? But hey. I mean, it is the PC club, though. Makes me wonder if we would actually be able to talk to an AI-operated machine, though. She can just hide under the bed, though. Mewtron's fine. Hmm. 
How? I wonder if the mom's gonna be at Richmond and realizing how in the hell is the doll not being in so different positions? <laughs> Help! Okay, please, let that be the last one from you! From you, John Sleep! I like how they're just doing that in sync. Okay, that, that was good. The dialogue's actually getting better than it already was before. Mmm. They tried her best, though. I like. How do they get from front to behind? What are they, magicians? way of calling it Robocon. Kotoko. Hey, my Kotoko, that's a cute little name. Hmm. Speaking of romance, damn, I wish I would have had my Mega Man um, X um, toy here. If I'd have known, I mean, at least I have blue on, though. To show support. Freema. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the robots do have more practical applications. Oh! <laughs> she has more confidence in herself! I mean, it is a PC club. Hmm. So I'm assuming we're all to be an extension of that. Hmm, that's actually pretty cool. It can have a lot of applications, help out people in need, and even hit people with um disability or physical elements, you know? Hmm. I like how those are just sit in sync. It's a Myra and Yume already kind of like twins. Or should I say sisters from a different mother already? Oh, this hello ki evil hello kitty looking motherfucker. And his little hello killing looking mofos too. And don't get me wrong, I, I, I think Hello Kitty is cool, I'm just saying. I don't, I don't, I don't hate, I don't hate. Can't see all one. Oh, is that cute? Well, you can just feed him to the, um, to the Mewchon. <laughs> I already love how they're, she's busting her chops like this. That's cute. It actually makes the friendship between Myra and Yumi actually feel more realistic, too. When you have, like, one of them just go back and forth with each other. Because other enemies, they like that. They... Oh, this cocky son of a bitch.
I just love how they're just taking up the fucking robot walk. Oh, okay, so it's actually not... Hmm. Hopefully they notice something's off, though. Yeah, I guess that actually shows a limitation of abilities. I thought that at the very least, uh, Mew or Pekochi were going to be able to actually analyze something's on. Oh, okay. Oh, so there's one for Pico Chi too. That's cute. And that's what I want to see the transformation sequence. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Damn! <laughs> That sucks for her. That's fucked up. I want to see to go inside. Okay, that's that's. <laughs> that's way too much of a quick recovery there. <sighs> Pick what you already know how to fucking operate. That one went on the tip of her fingers. That's cute. Please, don't drag this out. I am getting Tomachi PTSD. But you know what? The animation that we use here is hand-drawn, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna complain as much as I would in Tomachi, where it's like, and that's a, that would abuse it for four minutes. Here, they abuse reusage for two minutes. Still gonna call it out a little bit, but two minutes ain't bad. That's bad as four. In this specific season two. And that's not too much, it's Tomiko. Well, the anime pisses me off so much, I don't even, I don't even remember its precise name unless I have it in front of my screen. Wow, they're really dragging this out for a full on minute. Hey, but at least we get this in the Okay, actually it's pretty cool. That'd be a cool world to live in. I ain't gonna lie. It's actually pretty cute there. <clears throat> there could be a bit more moving in the background, though. I think the storyboard team went up, became a bit too ambitious. They should have just... Have the crowd limited because if you have this many stills of people, oh, holy, damn! I guess it makes sense that'd be your biggest nightmare having one of their mach own machines go against society and destroy it. I think that'd probably unnerve anyone. Just fucking posing and showing the fuck up. Man, I would want to fucking if I if I was there, I would throw my phone on that motherfucker and be like, shut up. <laughs> Whoa. And then Mew, and Mewchan is cool. Don't get me wrong, uh, Mewchan is awesome, but damn. <laughs>
Oh man. Hmm. I like how it just makes a neo sound every single time it talks. They'll get their third member eventually. Yo, which Mew always knows how to motivate people. Okay, that thing just teleported because it was all the way, all the way fucking far away. What the? I guess they're kind of resolve the plot point of why doesn't you may just try to stomp the the evil. And I know its name, it's Yumi, but that explains why Yumi doesn't just try to stomp him from the get go. Oh. I actually liked it. Unlike the other episodes, I explained why doesn't the enemy just try to attack and dodge? Kotoku were distracting it enough so that Yume can actually get a hit in. Okay. No. Can we just skip this? Can we just skip or Yume just do a wand attack and that's it? We don't need a minute. Come on now. Really? Don't get me wrong. Don't get this twisted. For those of you who haven't seen my reactions to the fourth, the fourth episode, versus the fourth episode, I actually enjoyed seeing this the first time. But then when you see it the second time, and the third time, and the fourth time, and the fifth time, then I'm like, no. Oh, it actually took around 50 seconds for that. Still, though, these things were resolved, though. This is nice. Hmm. Good. No. They should be put in the incinerator. Fuck that shit. Burn them! Burn them! Completely burn them for the good of the world, dang it. Damn. <laughs> Damn it. Mmm. I like how they all just lied and she's looking away. <laughs> at least that should help. I actually would have loved to have seen Yume's facial expressions there at least. Kind of a missed opportunity there. <clears throat> Oof, that is true, but at the same... But at the same time though, people can adapt to... Oh! You know, that's actually a good and commendable goal there. I like how they're actually acknowledging the downsides of how if you don't carefully adjust technology, people will lose their jobs completely. What a sweetheart smile. Hell yeah, she should. Go fight, win. Go. That's some pretty good English there. Hmm. Hmm. Yo, that this fuck is gonna be afraid of Gwamimitsu if she...
Damn. But maybe some. But hopefully eventually, though. Hmm. <laughs> hey, hopefully the next stream she'll have stuffed animals alongside the robots. Yes! Good shit. Don't, 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 don't. I actually like this CD. I don't know, something about it. It just makes me smile. It could also be the fact that this series has come back and I've been missing it. That could also be it. Because I've been needing my... A magic Rhinome fix, because since Healing Precure is still postponed, I'm like, at least, yeah, at least there's Miko Journey back now to fill the void. Now! As for this episode, I'm gonna rate it straight up, um... Of a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being invisible, 5 being average, 10 being exemption, I thought it was a solid 7.5 out of 10 episode. Kinda wasn't the biggest fan of Myra just being silent like that. Because in this episode, it makes me wonder, don't get me wrong, I think Pico Chi is hilarious and cute. But I kind of hope we have Pico Chi do things too, eventually. I want to see him get in on the action. Because it just feels like our Yume is just doing combination attacks with Mew without justifying the other mascot characters. I'm just saying. So hopefully the future episodes... Kind of have a utility for a Pegochi. Because he's a cool character. But he's just going to be... Oh, okay, PB time. Hmm. I like how you see that more worried about the test than that. That's cute. One day is when you're dreaming about... What's your mind be? You know, I've never actually dreamed about robots in my dream before. If I'm being honest. I mean, it would be cool, though. But, yeah. Now. As for other things I really liked about this episode, aside from the... The slight negative of not getting to see more things being done for Peko Chi. I do like how in this episode... You see, at the very least, the antagonists really start to dislike Yume and Mewchan. That was actually cute. So you're getting to see a relationship, an antagonistic relationship between the protagonist and the antagonist now. That is cool. I like the banter. And on top of that, the comedy was on fucking point. Everything involving Pekuchi was hilarious. The scenes where the mother just keeps on coming back. And surprising the hell out of Mewchan where it looked like Mewchan was about to have a freaking heart attack. That was hilarious. And stuff like that. And as for the story stamp, but it was entertaining. Aside from them recycling footage, I'd say overall I was entertained from start to finish. Animation and art, I'll be honest, the animation, it kind of sucked. Except for the sequences that were reusage of animation. It was mostly stills, you could tell. So, that was kind of like the downsides. Artwork was, it was alright. Wasn't super beautiful, wasn't ugly, it got the job done. There are a few moments where the face of Katoka was way too big. Other moments it was well proportioned. It just depends on the sequence of the episode. So, that's why I'd say overall the animation art were a mixed bag. But I'd say overall this episode made me laugh a lot that... I still thought it was above average, and I thought it was good. And hopefully our, our, our boy Pekochin gets to do some epic shit in the next episode, because I freaking love me some Pekochin. But anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the episode. I thought it was pretty good. A nice return to form. Be sure to comment on your thoughts on how I feel about Maraction in the comment section below. Rate the video, share it, comment, subscribe. And I hope you all have a wonderful, safe, and fantastic, and fun day. But anyways, y'all. Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye-bye.